a little bit more on the Torino as I'm going back into the room of doom back there, find the oil pan is. What made this a one of one is really the white buckets, the white interior with the buckets, uh, AC, uh, and this color combination. Those were really what made it uh, a one of one. Um, so I kind of hate to hate to take that away from it, but I'm not looking to take it back to OE and all of that. I want to make it a you know streetable and a rod. Uh, the the 351 in this is actually the most preferable year of all the 351s in that. Uh, it's got the best numbers out of all the years of the 351C. Uh, this, just to give you a quick shout here. I don't know if anybody's ever seen a commercial where these people take a faucet to an engineer, to an architect, and say, build us a house around this faucet. Well, for us motorheads, I'm going to take this stack, which is from a Pantera, and build a 351C around it. So uh, it's a pretty cool stack. Uh, at some point in time, I will uh, I will uh, deal with that. But yeah, that's a a racing stack uh, for the Panteras. Pretty nice. I picked it up uh, in Canada when we were. I had a client up in Vancouver, so we relocated up there for three or four years and bought it off of a friend up there but uh, anyway yeah so. I think uh, it's about three and a quarter to three and a half inches from the top of one of these studs to this uh, valve cover mating surface on mating surface on the heads so other story is these super comps these are hooker super comp a multi-piece long tube header and that's what you need to use to swap a big block out in this Torinos and Fairlines. But the problem is you need a hooker super comp part number 6115. And I went online and looked and six, the part number 6115 does not have that tube sticking out like that. As a matter of fact, it looks like this tube right here that's jetting straight out uh, should actually for this application be clocked facing upwards like that tube. So that tube that's coming straight out as such as you can see creates a massive elephant ear and uh, that just ain't gonna work. So while these are hooker hooker super comp headers they are not the part number or model number 6115 so I'm not sure what the hell is up with that but I looked at them online the, the ones that are just black painted black not a heat treated black paint but just a, a, a paint to keep the metal from corroding they're like 650 the powder coated ceramic coated are about a thousand bucks uh, plus or minus so I think I'm just going to buy the less expensive pair use those as I'm going through this and then when I need to uh, get this thing poked into the Torino when I'm ready for all that action I'll take them and get them coated uh, from a shop here locally and, and uh, be done with it so the, the timing chain cover this timing chain cover is a Ford Motorsport timing chain cover it's one I had around here for the 460 and it has that mounting hole but it does not have a provision for the dipstick nor is there a provision for the fuel pump where this water pump which is cast and heavy has the dipstick on it as you can see and has fuel pump but fuel pump port but uh, I am not 
going to use that, I don't believe, although I do like the, the, the water jet ports. There's, I like how they are. They're much more efficient than that aluminum Ford Motorsport one. That Motorsport has a flat surface coming into the water pump, uh, into the water port there, that, and uh, where these are much more smoother and they go back quite a bit. So you have a much more efficient, uh, efficient uh, flow, as you can see on this. See, it's all flat, but it is more of a direct shot into there. Um, so I think that's. I think this is where I'm gonna go. I got to get those other headers to see if this if this pan will work because this pan would not work with those headers and I'm and especially I, on this side here you could see it when I had it mounted on there uh, the header mounted on there but um, I'm kind of thinking even with the proper head or headers it's it's not going to fit because just I think this one is close to what that the uh, applicable part number is how it's going to fit and they left very little room up here between here and here where those headers pinched in it was I don't know down lower it was less than 10 inches and I think an OE pan is like 10 inches across so I think an OE pan would work but I'm not so sure I'm not so sure that uh, that that pan is gonna work with a uh, with the proper headers. I'm gonna grab a tape measure here real quick and see what's going on here. Yeah, see, that's like 10 inches across and uh, I don't think that, uh, that, if that was the same width all the way down, I think those headers would work, but that flare kind of disqualifies that and this pump or this water or oil frick, this oil pan does not have a provision for a dipstick so that dips having a timing chain cover with a dipstick down the front would be optimal with this pan but that pan is not optimal with these headers and uh I gotta get that worked out today. I gotta get these headers, headers ordered and get those on there and see what's up. And uh, go from there, get these valve covers ordered. I'll ponder or think, think on these timing chain covers. So that's the inside of the marine pan, just for FYI, or timing chain cover folks you can see the dipstick tube that comes down and um, that port that's blocked off from the outside and that's my timing chain double roller of course um, the motor and as I kind of thought that mounting hole that third mounting hole that's on these you know this this mounting hole that's on the automotive timing chain cover is not a pass through into the block these are the two that hole would be somewhere in here so uh, sorry for the video so I knew it didn't go into the block, but I'm thinking it's just for mounting the water pump and provides more, a better surface area, torque, you know, dispersion of the pressure for sealing purposes. But uh, I'm just kind of curious as to why the OE pump didn't have that. I think this was the pump that came off of 
this motor. In fact, I know it was. This is the marine application water pump. And uh, you can see that uh, there's two holes here, no hole there. Um, so, be that as it may, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put my other timing chain cover on here. But while I'm at this point in time, I'm going to drop this pan as well. Uh, it's studs, um, which caused a little bit of problem up here. If you ever wanted to pull the water pump or the timing chain cover water pump without having to pull the pan, it would be very difficult when there's studs used. That was a that was a stud here, and that's a stud over there. There, you can see them there on this. Timing chain cover there and there. So, any hoot, see what uh, I can get done here. Couldn't find my pan, so just gonna drop it and do a dry fit of these headers and check it out. Check it out, as my friends up north say. Thanks. So, that's the flange for the multi piece headers. And that's what's happening at the oil pan and tight around the oil filter. So I'm not really sure that this oil pan is going to function with these headers. To be continued. Well, you can color me like ignorant or what, but... That's pretty tight squeeze coming in down across the headers where they hug in down through the block, which I still think that would be possible to get like an OE pan up in there or something of that nature. But I think this is the real problem. What the hell? That thing, like, sticks. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with that. I don't see how that's going to work whatsoever in that car. So, I think these headers are a bust. And if these things are a bust... Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for headers on this thing. I'll have to, uh, I think, I think I'll have to go back to the design board and come up with something different, but look at that. That thing's crazy. I mean, I don't know if that's access, supposed to be access for a starter, you know, to get to get around the starter, but, I mean, I'll look in that car, but I'm not sure that's going to fit in there whatsoever. That's, that's a pretty big jog uh, in the header. So way disappointing way way disappointing so the pan is out um, had a little bit of a some spillage I didn't realize there was that much oil in it from the assembly and uh, I guess I should have drained it I just didn't think there was that much in there and uh, had a little bit of spillage not bad New Pig Corporation, not that uh, they're a sponsor of mine by all means, but uh, uh, have had to use their products in the past. I do like the absorb brake, so handy to have about. So that's the pan. I thought while it's dropped, I can uh, go ahead and show you the underbelly of this, the crank. Um, like I said, I'll give the specs and stuff. 
uh, at another time with all the parts and, and everything, but uh, that's that's the crank. It's all internally balanced. The motor's internally balanced and and uh, machined, you know, for the 540. And uh, looking forward to getting this thing built. I keep having to digress to to make progress. I guess that's par for the course. Um, studs. See the arms going on up in there. It, uh, it should be a healthy motor by all means when I'm done with it. At least it should get that Torino moving, moving around. But uh, I hope I don't have to do anything with this sump, not relocating it to the back or anything like that. But we'll find that out. So, anyway, appreciate it. Thank you. So, I'm trying to verify here today if I need a tall rocker or tall uh, valve cover. And, um, looking at the stud up on this. It's looking to be like three and a half inches at least. So that would kind of tell me that uh, that uh, I may need a, a tall a tall rocker. Or a tall valve cover. So I've got to see how much space I've got between that brake booster and the valve covers here. So I think I've got about another three inches on top of the valve cover already, which is like two and a quarter inches already. So, I've got like five and a quarter inches to put a valve cover in there. And uh, I think those, they're given, I don't know, I'd have to look at the dimension differences between the 351C and that 460. But I'm thinking I should have the clearance to get a tall valve cover in there. It might be a bitch to, to get it out of there, uh, but it, uh, I think I should have plenty of room to get a valve cover in there uh, and not have any clearance issues. I'll find out. Things to to get addressed. Confirm what timing chain cover I'm gonna use, this or that. I don't think I'm gonna use that one because it's lacking that mounting mounting hole for that water pump for that water pump and uh, I do have to order that AN fitting for this pump as well valve covers and headers headers valve covers timing chain cover I did get uh, I did get my um, harmonic balancer pull puller and install tool today so I can uh, press fit that uh, damper on when I get to that point and uh, I gotta look at these studs too for this carburetor because they're sticking up a bit and I don't get that given that these were studs for a non uh, spaced application so the reason that I'm not doing any spacing or anything with this carburetor just real quick is so everything fits under the hood in the Torino so I can use that Ram Air app, uh, the Ram Air uh, uh, mechanism that's on the car now and I am informed that by this using this 
configuration, I should be able to, this should be able to fit and made into that RAM Air application. So I'm hoping so. And uh, go from there. Uh, once I get this thing poked in that car. Anyway, thanks. Appreciate it.